Hello and welcome to Access DNR, the monthly video newsletter from the Maryland Department of Natural Resources. In this episode, we tackle conservation by land and sea to ensure a bright future for us all. I'm Greg Bortz, your host for this edition of Access DNR. We begin this episode with preservation work in the spectacular forest canopies of Western Maryland. During spring and fall projects each year, the Park Service and Conservation Corps join forces with the Forest Service and the Maryland Department of Agriculture to combat the spread of an invasive insect, the hemlock woolly adelgid. If left unchecked, these tiny insects can make a huge impact and decimate entire populations of hemlock trees, which accounts for as much as 29% of all tree species on Garrett County's public lands. To combat the problem, the state uses an integrated pest management approach, combining natural control from introduced predatory beetles with strategic pesticide applications. After being sized and surveyed, each hemlock tree is then treated based upon its proximity to water. Outside of a 50-foot buffer, crews utilize soil injection devices around the base of each tree. Within the buffer, treatments are delivered directly to the roots via a pressurized IV-like system. Afterwards, each tree is outfitted with a unique identification plate and all pertinent information gets recorded. During this year's spring project, 1,870 trees were protected at Swallow Falls State Park, bringing the grand total since efforts began to more than 97,000 trees statewide. Impressive work to say the least. We now turn our attention to Maryland's beloved state fish, the striped bass. The summer season is in full swing and we continue to encourage those taking part to do so in a conservation-minded way. For some best practice tips and techniques, we turn to the professionals with our Fishing and Boating Services team. Thanks, Greg. Any angler can agree that healthy populations are to be both prized and protected. To help promote the long-term future of striped bass in our waters, we're asking everyone to do their part by implementing voluntary conservation measures to better protect the species. For those anglers using artificials, consider swapping treble hooks out for single hooks which can be easier to use and work just as well. When releasing fish, be sure to keep your hands wet and have appropriate de-hooking tools at the ready. It's very important to minimize handling and get them back into the water as fast as possible. Keeping the fish in the water while de-hooking is even better. And try to avoid fishing on days when the air temperature is above 95 degrees as heat stress often leads to mortality. If you have questions, feel free to call our general information line or send an email to customer service. Thanks for your time, everyone. We're grateful for your help. We're also reminding everyone that June is National Great Outdoors Month. We invite you to gather your family and friends to go camping, check out our impressive trail systems, enjoy a relaxing picnic, or make your own adventure. We hope to see you out there. Well, that's a wrap for this month. For the latest news and programs, please follow us on social media, subscribe to our magazine and newsletters, and download our free mobile app. For those of you on YouTube, please give us a thumbs up, subscribe to our channel, and don't forget to share our videos with family and friends. I'm Greg Bortz. Thanks for joining us. We'll see you next month on Access DNR. <laughs>